Hey, what is up? Fabian here and welcome to Moment in Space. In today's episode, we ask a fairly simple question. Did the Romans actually know about the planets? Well, the short answer is yes, sort of. But the longer answer has a little bit more of a story to it. And let me tell you what that story is. The Roman gave names of gods and goddesses to the five planets that they could see in the night sky with their naked eye, which was Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. They didn't know that the planets were celestial bodies orbiting the sun, or even less rocky or gas planets or whatever. What they did see though were bright points of light that appeared to be changing position relative to the stars that were behind them throughout the days, weeks, months, and years, which maybe explains why they chose to name those objects. Mercury, which makes a complete trip around the sun in just 88 days, is the fastest moving planet of our solar system. Just like us today, Romans could see a small point of light very close to the horizon shortly after sunset or just before sunrise. Because it appeared to be changing position relative to the stars the fastest, it was named after the Roman god of messages and communication, Mercury also known as the god of travelers. Venus is a bit of a contradiction. Just as Mercury, it was only visible shortly after sunset or just before sunrise. Her brightness varied quite a lot though, sometimes outshining all of the other planets, even Jupiter. Despite being a vision of hell with her permanent greenhouse effect and temperatures reaching up to 460 degrees, the Romans who saw Venus just as a bright spot of light in the sky, named it after their goddess of beauty and love. Mars, the red planet, was named after the god of war. According to Roman mythology, Mars rode on a chariot pulled by two horses named Phobos and Deimos, meaning fear and dread. Coincidentally, the two small rocky moons of Mars that looked like potatoes were named after those two horses. Phobos and Deimos. Jupiter is a gas giant and it is by far the biggest planet of our solar system. It was named after the king of gods in Roman mythology. Why did they choose to name that particular planet Jupiter? Pretty simple actually. It was just the biggest and largest object in the night sky. Therefore the most powerful. Therefore Jupiter. Fun fact, the ancient Greeks also named the same planet after Zeus, which is their king of gods. Saturn, the solar system's second largest planet, was named after the god of agriculture as well as the god of time. Agriculture, being a slow process that requires time and patience, is perhaps the reason why the slowest of the five bright planets was named after Saturn. In Roman mythology, Saturn was the father of Jupiter. Saturday is also named after the Roman god Saturn, which if you think about it, is just Saturn's day, right? Speaking of Saturday, the Romans also named the days of the week after the gods that corresponded to the five bright planets plus the moon, plus the sun. Still to this day, pretty much every Roman-based language, whether it's French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, still bear the mark of Roman day names. That's basically it for today's video. There's probably a lot more to say about that whole topic, but I guess that's enough for today. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this small moment of knowledge. Leave a comment below if you have any questions I will answer. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in the next moment in space. Peace.